All right, we are back with part three. This is um, so far pretty pretty interesting. I got lots of response on this one. Didn't expect it. Really grateful and glad. Okay, so where did we leave leave off just now? Um, I think it was triple XTC. And so let me go back to his profile. We did. I did. Okay, I did respond to Eraser Egghead. So let me uh, just. Play that again and start from Eraser Egghead 2.0. I would want to know why, first and foremost. Okay, so here's my response. I just did it right now after I had more responses. And the thing is, if you, this is the third part to this, right? So if you didn't catch the other two parts where I went through all the previous recordings and responses um, please go check it out i will put a link in the description below so let me uh, share what i said and then we can move on to triple xtc hey eraser egghead 2.0 yeah i would definitely like to know why as well i mean if someone asked me to do that i mean if there's a good reason i might i mean i'm thinking back to uh shakespeare <laughs> romeo and juliet like they kept their relationship a secret um from their parents at least um and you know it is one of the greatest love story ever told in the english world i guess so i guess i would ask if there would be an actual good reason that you would accept if this was the case if someone that you really like and really liked you back uh, had a really, really good reason why you should keep it a secret. Would you keep it a secret? Or is that like a deal breaker for you? All right, let me know in the response. Thank you, Eraser Egghead 2.0. Hey, Trip. Okay, so let's um, go back. To triple X T C. I would feel confused as to why they would want to do that. Um, yeah, and I probably wouldn't do it. I wouldn't be in a relationship if it was a secret. I mean, that's weird. Hi. Mm hmm. So I'm going to res So the reason why there's stuff on top is I responded to him again because he responded back to me. So let's just go to this one. Hey triple X T C So it sounds like even if they had a really good reason you wouldn't go with them and be in a secret relationship. Or would you if they had a really really good reason? All right, next is Koa. I wouldn't really care personally. I come from a pretty abusive household and I'm not allowed to be in a relationship. So I would need the relationship to kind of be a secret just so my siblings and mom don't find out. Mm -hmm. And so I wouldn't really care if they asked it to be a secret. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. All right. And I said... Hey, Cora. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. <clears throat> you uh, come from like, an abusive family and you need to keep things secret. And I kind of understand that. I mean, I don't come from that kind of family, but I I know people who have and they have lots of secrets and relationships um it's one of those things that um was being used to keep them in line and to keep them um hmm. sorry those 30 seconds happens really really fast so um i was saying that yeah p abusive people usually keep relationships secret or they use secrets to keep the people captive or in line, I guess. 
So I I understand, um, and I've seen it before in people's lives to to keep things secret, and for good reason. So so it's too bad that you have to keep secrets like these, and to keep your relationship secret. And um, but I understand, and that is kind of a valid reason. I think if someone. Is in that kind of relationship or is that kind of family, and they ask me to keep it a secret from their family, from their you know siblings, I would do that. Like personally, I would do that, and not be too um, not to think too much about it. Okay, so okay, so Sophia. Really angry, and I would tell them to fuck off. Period. Sorry about my message. I was just really angry at this question. So yeah, bye. Mm hmm. It would. Hey, Sophia. I I know where you're coming from, so I'm not going to take offense to that, you know, language. But um, yeah, I mean. Most people they think secret relationships are bad, and so I'm just trying to hear what people have to say about this question. And this is something I wish I think of this. I wish I thought of this question myself. But this is a question that my friend asked me to ask, and yeah. Hey. Okay. Mm, where's Deandra? It would depend on the situation. I mean, like, if it's if we're in an openly public relationship, and then you tell me to keep it a secret, of course I'll be mad. But like, if you're telling me for a legitimate reason, like your parents don't know or something like that, then okay, maybe I'll keep it a secret. It would really depend. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for your message. So, yeah, I mean, after listening to everyone's uh, comments multiple times, sometimes um, it seems like some people have really, really valid reasons. And like one girl just now, one lady, I guess, who came from a abusive family and they weren't allowed to have relationships with other people outside of the family. Um, yeah, I mean, that's obviously abusive, but... Yeah, so, you know, there's some valid reasons. Like one uh, lady also said that she has an abusive ex who would beat up her boyfriend, so she had to keep it secret, like future relationship secret um, and all that other stuff. So there's some valid reasons and it's valid. Um, <sighs> yeah, there's some valid reasons out there. Um, but on the most, you know, uh, generally... Yeah, generally, I think people should keep it public and not secret unless it's a reason. And, you know, if no one is getting harmed, there's no self-harm, there's no body in danger, then um, you should be happy and proud of the person you're with and make it public. Yep. And next we have 30 bands. So it was like every relationship I've ever been in. Hmm. Okay. Hello, Dirty Vans. <clears throat> so are you saying that every relationship you've been in was actually secret? You've never been in a public relationship where everyone knew about it? So all your previous relationships has been secret? How many have you been in? And were there really good reasons for it to be secret or... Or not? Okay, next we're going to listen to Tiffany. And Tiffany is going to discuss a couple of parts to this. So I'm going to guide you through this. So let's look for Tiffany's response. 
Honestly, yeah, it's just like um beginning of this year. A guy like a guy on the scout just hit me up and we started talking for a while and then he did mention about having a relationship and I already thought about it too, but later on he said keep it a secret and not until that time that like I knew that he was having like a whole freaking family with another lady. Wow. <laughs> well, in my okay. Um. All right. Let's listen to Tiffany. Response to Tiffany. Hey, Tiffany. If I heard it right, you said that he had like a whole separate family outside, and he wanted to have a relationship, and you would be like the person outside of his marriage. And that is honestly pretty messed up. I mean, I've heard of this. I've seen this in movies, but then to hear this. Happened to someone uh, in real life that messages and leaves a message on my life. I mean, my my talk would be like, "Wow, this is real." Yeah, so I'm not sure if you actually started a relationship with this person who had a family outside. <laughs> um, so was he or like already married and had kids and stuff? Like, is this is what I'm hearing, or? Um, and, and yeah, also let, yeah, what happened? Did you, um, did you go ahead with that or did you say no, you don't want to have a secret relationship? Okay, so I'm going to fast forward a bit to her response because she did reply after the fact. Oh, hey, dear Daniels. Um, yeah, you heard it right. He has a whole family beside, and he say they already like conceived a child when he was like eighteen, and then right now kids were two, three. But yeah, he did want another person beside like um outside of his like family. That's totally messed up, and you know the only thing he want. So yeah, you're probably right. And this person later on, like he just keeps saying like really sweet stuff. And just later on, I found that he only wants sex because like, I just felt like he couldn't control it anymore. And then get horny to the point that he got like see someone outside of his family to like have sex with, like make love. That's real disgusting. But yeah, good things the only thing we talk about is just like sounds like teen friends. And Ali um it just popped up in my head for a little bit when he brought up a relationship, you know? Like I almost not my head. But the things I saw pick up his kid later on in his profile. And I don't know if it is a good dad. Hey. Okay, so that was um wow. I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> I'm going to think about what to say and respond to her because that demands a response. Okay, let's move on to unspoken mouth, I believe. Yes, unspoken mouth. Well, in my opinion, I would not react in any way i would just probably pick up my stuff and leave because keeping my relationship in secret it's uh practically just assuring me that we're just friends with benefits and nobody has to know so maybe he don't have further intentions with you that's my take mm -hmm. all right so on spoken mouth Hey, unspoken mouth. <laughs> That's a great username. Um, yeah, I I think if that's his intention, just to you know be a friend with benefit, then definitely, um, yeah, you should pick up your stuff and leave because you know it's like it's going nowhere, right? And you want a real relationship, not just benefits. Um, <laughs> Alright, thank you everyone for responding to this question. 
How would you feel if your significant other asked you to keep your relationship a secret? So, yeah, I mean, so far we have like 66, 67 responses, including mine, obviously, because I want to respond to everyone. And I, I know I've been really, really busy. I haven't been able to respond to people on my talks for a very long time. But I made an effort today. And thank you, everyone. Love you all. Well, I think that it depends on, like, why they asked me to keep it a secret. Like, if they if they wanted me to keep it a secret to, like, protect the relationship, then I guess I would understand. But I, I wouldn't want it to be a secret forever, you know? So I, I just can't imagine a, a scenario or too many scenarios where keeping it a secret would be, like, they're asked with the best intentions, you know? Okay, uh, then I responded. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Keeping the relationship a secret um, to protect it. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. But you're right. I think I can't think of too many many reasons why. Like I shared just now, I, I just remembered Romeo and Juliet by Shakespeare. Uh, they kept it a secret, but then it wasn't forever, right? And eventually, the family's new, and they kill themselves. Yeah, guys, don't kill yourself over love. Okay. Um. Hmm. So where were we? Uh, I think it's around here. Okay, so we let's go to Charlie. Not really sure what he's trying to say here, honestly, but uh, I'll just share it and then maybe one of you can let me know in the comments. Well, this is it. Hey, uh, hello, this is Charles Edward Echo. Uh, I'm 61 years of age. I'm single. Uh, I try to be independent. But there's some uh, yeah, tactics, some uh, hey, deliberations. Mm -hmm. I can't really think of a good one. Sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what he was trying to get at. That's why I responded with this. Hello, Charlie Edward Echoes. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I'm still quite confused about what you're trying to get at um sounds like there's some secret tactics and techniques and tricks and stuff that you want to share but you do not get to it because there's only 30 seconds just hit the uh, record button again and record more stuff so we can hear you and learn more from you thank you charles i mean yeah. charlie all right so now let's hear the final one at this time xtc again I can't really think of a good reason uh, that would be excusable for me personally. Um, I can think of good reasons, um, like for example, I mean, I'm gay, so I can understand like in the gay community, religion plays a part in your family and another hypothetical is like a super confidential job that you have to keep the details of your life pretty private. Mm -hmm. But for me personally, there is no reason that's valid that would be excusable like for you to want to not proclaim your love for me publicly. Um, so it's just it wouldn't be my thing. It's just to if any of the other reasons I mentioned were true and went into play, that's just too complicated for me in a relationship. Okay. Hey, Triple XCC. Thank you for replying again and giving us more details. I guess yeah. In the in the gay community, um, a lot of people are in the closet, and there's a lot more secrets going on in that area. And it sounds like it's not for you, and it's it's, it's a deal breaker to keep it a secret. And you're right. People should proclaim their love, and um, um. Yeah, if you're looking for something simple and not complicated. Yeah. Hello, Charlie Edward. Uh, 
Okay, cool. So that is part three. This is part three uh, of the secret relationships talk. Did I ask this question? The question of the day. How would you feel if your significant other asked you to keep your relationship a secret? So I hope you have enjoyed this as much as I have. Listening to these people tell us um, their story and their opinions and whether it is a deal breaker or not to keep a relationship a secret. So let me know in the comments again and please share this with your friends. And if you're, if you're on Spoon, you can come and, you know, Drop a voice recording as well so we can hear you. And that is it. Thank you so much for being part of this. And if we reach 100, right? We're now we are 79. If we reach 100, I'll maybe do part four of this. I'm not sure how hot this is because I think it just got onto the top page of talks. I'm going to check it out afterwards. And, um, yeah, thank you for listening to this. It's been a bit longer than the previous one. I think the previous one was like 17 minutes. This is around 20 something minutes. Um, so if you like these talks and these questions, um, I've lost of I've lost more. I'm asking questions every day, multiple times a day. And so um yeah, so I'm sharing this with you as well. And Remember to like and subscribe and share this with your friends and comment below your thoughts on any of these responses that you heard today. All right. I love you all. Take care. Thank you for subscribing and liking and following and sharing and commenting. I'll see you tomorrow with another question of the day. Daniel out.